I think that's why it's so important for us to know our history. And this was one of, one of the great lessons of Howard's in is that we have to realize that we stand on the shoulders of giants and we have to realize that what we're doing today, maybe it's been done in the past and maybe there are lessons to learn. Maybe there's an emboldening process. Uh, and I think that Howard Zinn being a prison abolitionist uh, dating back decades uh, is, is something that we need to consider and think about. Now, where did that come from? I think when, when you study Howard Zinn's political life, uh, it's fascinating to me that you know he immersed himself in the black freedom struggle and in the anti-war movement. And then the 1970s hit and uh, both of those movements uh, suffer as we go into that decade. And what does Howard Zinn do? He pivots uh, to letter writing uh, with people behind bars. I mean, with, with attempting to help people when they get out of prison. I mean, the, the people who he corresponded with, and we have a lot of that correspondence, fortunately. Um, it's remarkable. I mean, the, the humanity with which Howard attempted to connect with people in the most dire situations um, but also his effort to tell their story. 